Dozens of people in Orange County were forced out of their homes after a fire just tore through a carport, also damaging an apartment building. CBS 2's Joy Benedict has the story from Fountain Valley. I saw the flames. They were way over the top of that apartment building there. It was a wake up call no one in this Fountain Valley apartment complex wanted as fire tore through a carport and sent those who live here running. Our neighbors were banging on the door and they just said, like, Get up, get up, fire. So I grabbed my baby, my husband grabbed the dog, and we just ran out the house. Melissa Borquez came outside to see her family's two cars on fire. It's just like heartbreaking because, like, the strollers in there, the car seat, the camping stuff, and yeah, everything just gone. The fire started just before 3 a.m. in this carport area at the Havens apartment complex. Dozens of firefighters responded and quickly attacked the flames. More went inside, making sure everyone got out of the apartment building right next door. It's a really sad situation for somebody to wake up to in the middle of the night to find such a devastating fire in their cars. And we we're just happy that we could get here quickly, respond so fast, and get a quick knockdown on the fire. In all, the fire damaged 40 cars in the parking lot. And although firefighters were able to prevent the flames from spreading to the building, the heat shattered windows and melted siding, filling 16 apartments with water, soot, and smoke. The American Red Cross relocated 45 people to nearby hotels. Oh my God, all these people displaced from their apartments, their cars destroyed. It's very, very sad. Right now, investigators don't have the exact cause of the fire, but they do believe it started somewhere in the carport with one of the vehicles catching fire first. At this time, they have no reason to suspect any sort of foul play. But for those who lost their cars, their belongings, and even their homes for a little while, although emotionally drained, they admit they are thankful. Thankful that we're, we're all safe. You know, husband, dog, baby, we're good. <laughs> but it's just a hard... Hard night. Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News.